All right, it's time to talk about my favorite note-taking app, Vim, or to be more specific, VimWiki. So VimWiki is a Vim plugin that basically allows you to have your own personal wiki of whatever information that you want. So you can put all kinds of different notes here and jump around to different ones, kind of like you would a wiki. So it makes it really easy to navigate to different documents and find your way around everything. So what you can do is you can just highlight some text, hit enter, and it's now a wiki page that you can navigate to and fill with whatever you want. Since it's a wiki, you can also just put links to whatever other page and jump around from place to place. Here's my to-do list. You can jump back and forth between everything. And it's just really handy for all of my note taking. This is what I use pretty much full time now. I used to use something like Notion and this is kind of similar, but I much prefer writing in Vim more than anything. So I really like this. And let me just show you how you can install it and how to use a few basic features. So first off, let's start with installation. You can go to the Vim Wiki page and it'll have how to install. Let me go down here. So first things first, we do need to make sure that we have these lines inside our VimRC. Let me quit out of this and let me just open up my NVim configuration. So you just want to paste these wherever you want and then install VimWiki using your favorite package manager. I'm using VimPlug, so that's what I'm going to use, but you can use whatever you want. If you do want to learn how to use VimPlug, I do have another video on this. So check that out if you're not sure how to install this. But I have this plugin right here, VimWiki. And by default, your VimWiki will be stored in your home directory. So home slash VimWiki. But you can actually move it with this command right here. So if you don't want it in your home directory, I want it in my documents folder instead. You can just put this in right here and it'll automatically move. And so you can navigate to your Vim wiki by whenever you're in Vim, you just type leader key W W and you are now back inside your Vim wiki. Now Vim wiki is kind of built around Markdown, but the thing is it has this really goofy version of Markdown that you're probably not used to. It's VimWiki Markdown, and as you can see, we're in a wiki file, not a markdown file. Now, if you like this, this is up to you, but I didn't really like this goofy syntax. So in normal markdown, you would be writing this with uh, like this if you wanted a header. In VimWiki Markdown, you write it with these equal signs around it. This is a H2. And if you want a link, you surround it with these brackets right here. I mean, you can use this if you want to, but it's not really my recommendation because I'm just used to working with normal markdown and trying to get used to another syntax just feels goofy to me. So what you can do if you don't really like the VimWiki markdown is you can go to your VimRC file again and just put this as well. So let me just put this on one line. So in addition to this path where I'm putting my VimWiki location, I'm also changing the syntax to Markdown and the extension to .md. I'll have a link to my VimRC configuration file in the description if you just want to copy this. But let's go ahead and save that. Might have to restart this. And then go to leader key ww again. And we are now inside this Markdown file. I already made this ahead of time, but it's just going to be blank if you got here for the first time, of course. And now you can use your actual markdown syntax with your pound signs like you would normally and your links are like traditional markdown links. Okay, but let's just go over quick how to create a new page. So you would do that with my new page. And let's say we want to make this page a link to a new page called page. I know, genius, right? So you would just push enter whenever you're selected over any letter in here and it will turn into a link. And now you can push enter again to navigate to this page. Now we are in page.md and you can put anything that you want here. Let's say hello. And you can go back by pushing backspace. So that'll give you back to your previous page. If you're a few levels deep and you just want to go back to the index, that would just be leader key ww again. That's always going to be your index page. But you probably just don't want to have a single word be your link. So you can just highlight this with visual mode and then hit enter. Now this whole thing is a link. Hit enter, you are now in mynewpage.md. All right, that's a very easy way to create new pages inside your wiki.
We can go back from this, go here. If we want to delete a page, we can do leader key WD. It'll ask you if you want to delete this. Let's say yes. It'll take us back to the index. Now this page didn't actually exist and we just have to remove this. Okay, it's gone completely. Okay, if we want to rename a page, then you would go here and type leader key WR to rename it. And it doesn't actually exist yet because I haven't saved it yet. Let's hit enter. Okay, I saved it. Now let me just hit leader key WR to rename it. Rename it to whatever. And it'll actually update the links in all of your different files. So that's really useful. You don't have to go and manually change the links yourself. Let's just go back. Now the link is correct. And for me personally, I just have each of these a new document. But like I said, you can interlink these. Um, maybe you're doing some research for school and you want to have kind of a wiki where you store all of your knowledge. It's not really what I use it for. I use it more for just note taking. But that option is open to you if you want to use it. Like I showed you before, you would just go to whatever right here, hit enter. And you're now at the whatever page, which we have already. Go back from that, delete this, backspace. And of course you can use the typical markdown, what you would expect. We can make this bold. We can create a list here with a whole bunch of different items. You can create a to-do list here. So with the list and these brackets to indicate a to-do. And then you can use control space to toggle it on and off. So let's say I finish this, I can check it create a new one and then toggle this on and off with control space. And that's honestly everything that I use VimWiki for. Just taking a few simple notes like this. It's very easy to organize things like this. And this will all be kept inside your VimWiki folder. It'll organize everything for you. But let me talk about one more thing before I finish up and that's the diary. So if you want a daily log of something, maybe you do actually want a diary or maybe you just want to write a log of everything you did that day. Maybe you're coding this project and you want to change log every single day. So you can do that with the diary feature. And to go to the diary index, what you want to do is type leader key W I. And right now I don't think I have a diary right now. So let me just push yes and it will create the new directory. So we are now in the diary index. Let me just write diary here so we know where we are. So if you want to create a new entry for today's date, you'll just push leader key W leader key W leader key W twice. And then you are now in today's diary. Today is October 8. Let's just say hello here. Save this. Now we can go back to the diary index page and go back here. But it would be nice if we had a list of all of our diary entries from oldest to newest up here. And so what you can do to automatically generate that is leader key W, leader key I. And as we can see, it has already created this nice little layout for us. So we have a link to today's date. And so every time you create a new diary entry, all you would do is run leader key W, leader key I to update this. There's probably some way to automatically do this, but I haven't set it up yet. Personally, I don't really use the diary because it's not really that useful to me. But if you do want to have a daily log of something, then go ahead, just use this feature. Okay, so since your diary is kept inside a subfolder of the main directory, you're just going to have to come in here and I think manually type out this. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do it. But all I did is just add a diary link and then the actual link is going to be diary slash diary MD. That is the index page of your diary. Now you can navigate there, navigate back, very easy. And one more thing, if you ever wanna make your wiki publicly accessible for whatever reason, then you can actually convert it into HTML and have a really nice HTML document based on your wiki right here. And you can do that with the command vimwiki to HTML. That will just get this singular page. Or you could do vimwiki all to HTML and you hit enter and it will just convert your entire wiki to a HTML document. I can't do it right now because I'm using the markdown syntax, but if you use the, the vimwiki syntax that I was talking about before, then you can convert it. If you still wanna use markdown, there's plugins that you can install in order to uh, convert markdown to HTML. Maybe I'll leave a link to that in the description and you can install that if you want. But let me just show you how this looks if you do actually want to use this. So for me, it's going to be in documents slash vimwiki html index.html. And we now have this really nice vimwiki page. 
And I didn't have to do any configuration. I just ran that one command and it set all this up for me. So obviously you can go between the different pages if you actually have them set up. I don't, but you can imagine what that would do. And then you could just upload this to some cheap server. Maybe you could write some scripts to automatically convert it to HTML whenever you change something and automatically upload it every day or so. That's all up to you, but the option is available to you if you want. For me, I just use it as my personal note taking, so I don't really need an HTML document. And finally, I'll just leave a link to the VimWiki GitHub page right here. There's also this VimWiki cheat sheet right here, which is useful if you forget any of the keyboard shortcuts and want to take a look at that. So I'll leave a link to that as well. But this is what I use for my note taking full time now. No more Evernote, no more Notion. Vim is a lot easier to use. And you don't always have to be connected online to use it, which is nice. So if you've been looking for a new note taking app, give VimWiki a try and let me know what you think.